Welcome to Switch Corner, my name is Alex. Today, we're taking a look at Kirby's Dream Buffet on the Nintendo Switch. Now this one, it's a party game with a focus on short burst gameplay, but is it worth the budget price point, or will it get stale all too quickly? Well, that's what I'm here to break down, so hit subscribe, join us here for reviews and deals near daily, and let's get started. If you are thinking about picking this one up, then head to cornershop.gg for discounted eShop credit. That's going to be 10% off at checkout with code CORNER. Kirby's a Dream Buffet then is a multiplayer party game packing single player options. It includes a co-op play online as well, that can be both private and open lobbies. And yeah, it can support on one system up to a maximum of two players. Either way though, no matter the mode you choose, it will be filling the lobby with four players thanks to AI opponents. And it even packs four difficulty options as well, which is great to see as I did notice a considerable improvement between each of these tiers. Today's video then will be more of a performance review as I'm a few hours in, I don't want to attach a score just yet a game like this, it kind of lives and dies by its staying power, so I kind of want to see now how I feel over the next few weeks. In total though, you're finding five modes, Grand Prix, Single Race, and Mini Game, and Battle Royale, there's also a free roll option as well. These, they all use the same simplistic overall goal and control scheme. That is basically roll with the left stick, jump with any of the face buttons, and use a trigger for a number of different food copy abilities to assist you in both a speed or simply terrorizing your opponents. It's good fun so far to knock them flying out of the locations and that end goal Goal really is eat as many strawberries as possible. When you look at the modes really though, Grand Prix that brings all options together in four round sprints. That's two races, one minigame, one battle royale. The winner is crowned the largest Kirby and size here is everything. The bigger you are, the faster you roll, but also the more damage you do to your opponents on collisions. The races though, they are by far my favourite element of the game. It's somewhat like, think, a mini Fall Guys, as you barrel down a track avoiding obstacles, collecting up these strawberries and picking up copy foods. Like any good kind of, I guess, racer like this though, the more risk you take, the bigger the reward, and often you'll see, let's say, a huge amount of strawberries on a treacherous piece of tracking, or maybe that track is moving. It's like any of these games, it's all about understanding your skill and then place currently in the race and that is handily displayed at the top of the screen alongside your score. There's a few areas in here as well I like speed boosts that I like but they do frequently include one biscuit walls which stop you in your tracks and they need to be destroyed. It often brings the entire pack of racers back together. I found these a little frustrating and almost they kind of render all your hard work to this point you know useless what i do like though on the track we can fly if we do fall off and things like syrup slowing us down eggs making you jump it's simple and creative but it's more skill based than just a big biscuit obstacle the only way around those walls is to use the jelly ability and you will slide right under the end of a race then is marked by three cakes, each worth a strawberry value. Eat one for maximum bonus points, and then also, most of the time at least, a podium finish. And this, it's as simple as clockwise spinning the left stick. I've put a few hours in, and I'm already though seeing tracks over and over again, so it doesn't seem like there's a huge selection in here. Mini games then, they simplify things even further, and that is basically a small arena, and we battle it out. When I say battle as well, I mean we basically bump into each other and use food copy to obstruct each other's victory. It's basically, again, that race to eat the most strawberries and remove our opponents from this area, so they require a respawn. That is valuable time they are losing out on points. There's a few twists on the formula here as well. I think toffee floor, so you slow down unless you're on the biscuits. There's strawberries in boxes that you need to destroy. There's moving teacups that you need to jump around. Never goes too far from the core idea, but there's at least a few area-based obstacles to change things up. 
finally Battle Royale, it's basically the same idea but a little more aggressive with power-ups. The arenas are typically bigger here as well. We can also not only knock our opponents out but they actually lose strawberries as well in those moments. The Grand Prix, that as I said is a combination of these three modes though. And then finally it's all rounded out with free rolling. It's simply an area to explore, practice and try out the different food copy abilities included. Online then it's Grand Prix only and you can have a random match or password a match. It also displays the number of victories you've had as well as your skill at level. All modes then of course come with rewards and there's a good 150 to uncover as you do level up. Everything think from collectibles to cosmetics for your Kirby to new game music that you can use in race. Online as well, you're thrown into a lobby. If the game does not fill it automatically, it will place AI opponents in so you can get into the action. Here we get access as well to some very basic communication text options with that D-pad. All modes, collectibles, you know, different pieces are all accessible then from the main menu where you roll around a table. I really like that. You can even decorate a cake with the collectibles that you are uncovering. I'm not attaching a score today, as I said, you know, I'm early into the game, but my big concern right now is it's really lacking on a variety front. After a couple of hours, kind of feel like I've seen everything and I'm already somewhat burnt out on the racing. It just feels completely feature light. The gameplay loop just rarely changes. Mini games are the smallest of tweaks and it needs more in customization. Right now it's jumping to Grand Prix or any other modes and the game actually randomly picks where you will be going. Let me choose the mini game or the Grand Prix. Let me have a little more direction over that gameplay. It plays well though and it feels like Kirby It just may have been better off as a free to play honestly and it probably needs its fair share now of you know extra DLC to throw in and hopefully that comes free of charge outside of the end price we've paid already. Graphically then it's stunning, Kirby again does not disappoint, they just know how to get the power out of the system, it runs great, looks incredibly sharp and honestly this colour palette with its vibrancy it's asking to be played on the OLED where no doubt it could be a demo piece for the difference that screen makes. The levels then make good use of the food theme with different items making for track pieces and as always the animations just top quality whether that's movement or copy abilities you will not be disappointed. The menu as well it's a simple idea navigate a table probably should have been optional as well but I really did like it. Audio finally, it's a winner. Things can get manic at times and the audio can be overwhelming but in a positive way. Dials up the action and it's all suitably playerful, particularly like knocking opponents out of the arena. When it comes to the music as well then, there's a great selection and it not only has the usual Kirby quality, but there's many unlockable tracks from past games as well, which should appear to you after a quick game or two. So overall, uh, right now, as I said, a few hours in, honestly, for the gameplay, I'm actually struggling for a reason now to go back. Sure, I'll jump in for a few games with friends over this week as it launches, but there's very little here that has me thinking I need to level up, I need to work at this. It's just not a heavily skilled based game, and yeah, that's kind of part of the pulling power for me traditionally. Even Fall Guys has some level of skill involved, and that leads to tension. This one, not so much. It's extremely forgiving, as you can imagine, with the Kirby name attached, and it has like things like barriers that block your way, and it's almost like a fake, let's say, rubber banding in that race effect. That said, though, look, it's just light on content and options, especially the fact I can't even customize my own Grand Prix, and that seems to me like a massive miss, especially if I'm jumping into, you know, a passworded lobby with my friends. Let us choose the races or the mini games that we want to partake in. There's definitely potential here, but again, like I can't help but fear, this definitely would have been better off as a free to play option. Will you be checking it out then? Let me know in the comments down below. It's at least relatively budget so that's definitely a bonus with that then like hit subscribe but join us here on switch corner for reviews and deals near daily and i'll see you all on the next video thanks everyone